Hi, I'm Sarah Book and I'm here at the Murata booth at CES. Um, we are demonstrating here our wireless charging technology. Uh, Murata uses a capacitive um, wireless charging technology. Uh, we are we actually sell the modules for this, so we have a receiving module and a uh, transmitting module in the charging station. Um, so the capacitive technology actually uses an uh, active electrode and a passive electrode in the charging um, the, the device you want to be charged. And in the charging station, there's also an active and passive electrode. So as long as the uh, active electrodes um, are near each other, um, making contact, there will be charging. Um, this is different than the inductive type uh, charging technology, which is very common uh, right now, which, which you'll see more often. Uh, with the inductive, you need a more of a, a direct contact. Uh, with the capacitive type charging, you can um, basically move the device around more. Uh, orientation doesn't matter. There's no heating on the device or on the charging station because there's no uh, inductor coils. Um, these work at around 200 kilohertz. Uh, this is a 10 watt uh, item manufactured by Maxell, actually, an iPad charging station. Um, and with the capacitive technology, there's a, a distinct advantage of being thinner um, with the printed electrode on the device. So in this case, for demonstration, we took a BlackBerry and replaced the back of uh, the back cover uh, with a, a piece of plastic that actually has the electrode printed into it. So there's no added thickness onto the phone. Um, and then we have our receiving module here in the bottom section. So um, with this, we're, we're hoping to uh, basically have uh, more embedded type items uh, so that uh, the modules can be embedded into the phone and then there'll be no added item onto the back. So you can just toss your item down onto the charging station and uh, begin charging. And for these items here, the charging time is about the same as a, if you were to plug it into the wall. Um, and efficiency between the capacitive and inductive type is around 70%, um, pretty uh, equal technology in that area right now. So thank you.